I've got a simple scene and we want to set up the normal AOV and we want the point, which is a reference position, and a PREF, which is another reference position for deform. So what we're going to do is in the render man menu, we're going to make sure we're on RIS mode and we are. So that's the mode we're rendering in. And if we just kick off a render, let's see what happens. We're going to local queue and while that's kicking off, we're just going to bring up render man, render, and just make sure we're going to local queue, external render, and we've got our render man version. So we go to our eight window and we get a beautiful render. I've got the PXR Disney shader assigned to everything. And we have no AOVs here. It's just called untitled. So let's go back and we can quit that render. And let's bring up the globals. And that's this first icon here, the render man controls. Now we're going to go under final pass. You can do the same thing under an IPR pass if you're doing interactive progressive rendering. But under final, let's go to our outputs tab. Bring this up. I'm going to double click right here. We see point P and we see normal N. And just by double clicking, it adds it to our AOVs, arbitrary output variables. So that's all we have to do. And we kick off another render. And now we see that it, we have a little arrow here, a triangle. So if we expand that, we have our point P. And because it's camera based, uh, it's going to be positioned from the camera. So we can kind of change the exposure if we're really not seeing it. And then we have our surface normal N, and that's a vector, so that's a color. Now, if you want to add a reference position, that's called PREF, and that's for deforming geometry. Uh, so in this example, uh, our geometry is not deforming, but I'm just going to select uh, this soccer ball, and it's a polygon object. And I'm going to go under here, and I'm going to hit select in the parameter, uh, parameter side, so make sure it's selected. Then I'm going to go into the render man menu, so I'm going to hit space, render man, going to go all the way down to primvars, freeze, pref. So that actually adds something that gets put out into the rib file. So if I go back and forth in the tab under extra attributes, I see rman pref. So it'll kind of lock a reference position. And if you're deforming it, um, the geometry, you'll see it. We're not doing it in this case. If I bring up my render man controls again, and now I go under final again, under outputs, I'm not seeing pref in here at all. So I'm going to go into custom. I'm going to add it in here by doing point underscore underscore pref. But I've done that before so you can kind of see it already in there. So normally I would do that add. I select it here, double click. So it'll have a pref and now that should output a pref. In our case, let's see what it does. We have p and and PREF, and it's only coming on to uh, that soccer ball. And if we deform this piece of geometry, that would kind of lock our reference position because we added it in. So that's how you add surface normal, position for P, and PREF for reference position.